so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Go. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Nice one, two there. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent foul trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big ground and pound. There it is, now he's running him out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And now he's attempting to jump. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, that looks painful. That's gotta be it. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Use this momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. All right, side control now. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Nurmago Meta. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling change. Two minutes have gone by. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Nurmagomedov's back in half guard. Oh, triangle choke by Nurmagomedov. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Great punch landing with so much power. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Under two minutes now to go round one. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Keep the pressure. Good job there by the champion. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Oh, rips the body shot there. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job. All right, so Milianenko's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. That guillotine is tight. 
Chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. And now he's got the back. Oh, Kimura tag. Yep. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. A million ink goes in half court. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Just fall this round. Get more aggressive. I want you to bring him out just a little bit more. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had Ready one fight. there. He almost had Ready. it. He had it locked Ready. in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets a finish he wants so bad. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. He's back in the twist position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Neil Billy. He's laying it down, ground and pump. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Takes his back. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Nermago Meta. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here. And it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Right where he wants to be in the clinch. Good stick. You can't take too many of those big elbows. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. All his separation with clinch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, a real nice shot to the head in the clinch there. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Emilianenko. He pinned his arm, he's got him in the crucifix. All right, setting up for a submission now. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, look at that high level grappling as the fighter reverses. All right, setting up for a finish here. That's in pretty deep. That rear naked choke attempt is very tight. He does a great job of getting the arm under the neck, hiding his hand behind the head, and driving pressure forward to get the finish. 
He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Mm, that was nice. All right, has the guard closed here. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 30 seconds to go in the round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Final seconds here. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for last time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Come on. Punch over the top. Nermago Medov's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Relax, relax. Oh, right Keep hand, hand. yes. Yeah. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Yep, I mean, over the top. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Another good stick to the head. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Khabib's in half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know, he's now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock. Right here, he'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. He's postured, landing huge ground and pound. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Both guys appeared to land there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Huge knee lands from in close. Another effective punch there, DC. And again, we talked a lot about that reach advantage. He certainly made it count in that situation. Big right hook there by the He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose, big double leg level change. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Namako Medov. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Khabib's back in half court. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Emelianenko. Ooh, he's setting up another submission now. Oh, he's advancing. You gotta be kidding me. How good is his this submission? This dude is constantly he's dodging he's bullets, J.A. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you know, I have a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're gonna get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nurmagomedov gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, and working that jab again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, fight. but wow, Ready. what a great job of escaping Good. and living to fight another day. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to the next 10 minutes. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Fader. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He's got the single collar tie. Very active in the clinch here and lands a beautiful shot to the head. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nurmago Meta. He's in the mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Just over three minutes now to go. Lands with the ground and pound. Able to 
reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. It's over. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that Darce choke. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Nice straight right lands. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful left jab leads to the take. All right, so Emilianenko's going for a choke. Yep, it gets his feet. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice. Too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice double leg pass. Well, he's got his back now. Now he's going full mount. Khabib's in half goal. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on the top of your feet like that. You gotta watch up kicks. Notice how he needs with his hip when he goes to land the strike. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, that looks tight. defense wins this transition. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he's got the hands going. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. Nice pass. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Good work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Massive knee to the body lane. Oh! Oh, lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Uh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount. He's gotta be careful here. Mm, nice. Emilian 
Malenko gets back up again. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice combination of strikes there by Fader. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively today. He does a great job of his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Nurmago Madoff's in half guard now. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Fedor Emelianenko gets back up. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is time for strategy. Slice and elbow lands. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's out. What's the missing defense on this play? Emelianenko gets back up. Two minutes now to go in the fight. To the body by Emilianenko. Beautiful jab lands. Back in the clinch, look for a takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. There's the double leg. Another takedown land. A guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Targeting the body with the kick now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, nice hook by Emelianenko. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Marco Madoff's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. He's going to go to sleep. It's over. And there he is! Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late.